Hi, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gale Reports. Today, I would like to talk about running calculations and explain how does it work. I want to add simple chart. It is just a table. Um, as dimensions, I would like to use date but day by day data it's not so obvious so let's select week is our dimension and the network will be new users i use google analytics demo account this data is free you can access this account i don't think that this is the best for this example for running calculations but it is it's fine to see uh, I think running calculations is really good for revenue data, yeah, to count new customers when you calculate churn rate for new customers. So, for these cases, uh, for cohort analysis, so for these cases, it's really good. So, this is just weeks and the users week by week. And I, I want to sort it by date and ascending. Okay, this is just new users. Let's add new metric for the new users. Same. And then we click to pencil and see running calculations here. And here we have several options. I want to talk about some of them. First of all, what I use, this is running sum. Uh, let's see understand it better let's add some of a row uh, you can see that and let's rename this field this is running um, uh, you can see that first month is same as um, or first week is the same as in new users but second week already it is double it is summary of first week and second week so you can say that during second week, we had almost 14,000 new users. And totally, during those two weeks, we had 27,000 of users. And the total sum for month will be the same. But here is a running sum. I think this, this is nice, and I use these calculations for in my dashboards. Uh, but it is not everything what we have. We can add one more metric with new users. And let's check which other options do we have. We have running delta. Uh, this comparison current month with the previous month. Let's rename it running delta. Um, to select this. Running delta, it means okay. First week is the same. Uh, second week is two for one. It means that during the second week we had for two hundred forty-one users more than in the first week. But on the third week we had oh, sorry, we had uh, one thousand seven hundred ninety-one users less than during the second week. So we can see compare we can compare current week with the previous week mm, on the same column, and this is nice to see dynamic. And in this case, I would like to add even uh, I would like to move it to heat map uh, and update it to see to see how does it work. Uh, make data more clear and obvious and uh, the last running calculation that i would like to mention and this is kind of new uh, it appears in may 2023 we have the um, users okay. and we have running calculations running percentage delta this is new feature uh, from may 20 23 oh my gosh running percentage delta and here 
diferente. Yeah. And here we have the same numbers as two for one, but um, we can see percentage. So to calculate, I even write it. To calculate a running delta for the second week, it will be uh, one, three, nine, eight, seven minus first week and divide divide by first week. You can calculate if you want seven or six. So you can, if you don't don't trust me, actually, yeah, just try calculate it by yourself and see how and check that this calculation is correct. I checked it, so I know that it is correct. But don't trust me and check by yourself. So I think this is really nice. Mm, because you can see dynamic of uh, your metric and it's super useful for revenue, new customers, and churn rate and other parameters. And you can see if your running delta is growing, this, that means your business is growing well. If you have like something minus percentage and it's growing, yeah, of course something wrong with your business. Last week is minus 57 because now is the middle of the week. Uh, so I recommend you use full weeks if you do like weekly uh, analysis. Use the full um, full weeks, full months, uh, like full period of time. Mm, I think that is it for today. Uh, let me know if you use these kind of calculations. How do you use it? It will be interesting to hear your cases of running calculation. And hope you like this video. Let me know if you have questions. And hope to see you soon.